Okay, so homework in remembering uh, Unit 1, Lesson 12. Um, the homework side is a review with story problems now, so we're solving real-world problems. So I'm not going to go over the homework side today. I am going to do a, a, another strategy on um, comparing fractions on the remembering side. So hopefully we're all pros at this by now, but this is just a quick way to compare fractions. So let's look at number 11. Five eighths, comparing it to five ninths. So eighths are bigger pieces than ninths. Ninths are more pieces, but they're smaller pieces. A quick strategy we talked about is to multiply on a diagonal. So eight times five is forty. And 9 times 5 is 45. So 45 is bigger. So 5 eighths and 5 ninths. 9 times 5 is 45, which is bigger than 8 times 5, which is 40 for this fraction. Okay, so that's an easier way to look at it as a whole number and to multiply on a diagonal. So 8 times 5, 9 times 5, 45 is 5 more, bigger. Okay, so number 5 on the memory side. <clears throat> 7 eighths plus 5 eighths. This one's nice because we have common denominators already. 7 plus 5 is 12 eighths. But wait a second, we cannot leave it improper. So we need to convert it. 12 divided by 8 well, this is how we can do it. We ask ourselves, how many eighths go into 12? Well, we know one, but we can also ask ourselves, how many eighths makes one whole? Well, we need eight eighths to make one whole. Plus the remaining, what's 12 minus eight? Well, that's four. So, our mixed number then would be 1 whole, because 8 over 8 is 1, plus 4 eighths, so 1 and 4 eighths. Okay? Let's do one more. Okay, number 6 here. We have 4 sevenths, four sevenths excuse me, plus 2 thirds. Um, 3 does not go into 7 evenly. So we can't just change one of the fractions. We've got to multiply both by the other denominator in this one. So 7 times 3, do this on top and bottom, and 3 times 7, which is the other denominator. 7 is over here multiplied, and the 3 is over here multiplied. Our new fractions now are 12. 4 times 3 is 12 over 7 times 3 is 21, plus... 14, 7 times 2, or 2 times 7 is 14 over 21, which equals that magic number, 26 right there, over 21. Okay, so this is improper, so we need to ask ourselves, 26 over 21, how many 21s do we need to make a whole? We need 21 of those to make a whole. And what is our leftover with 26 minus 21? That's how we come up with this number, 5. 26 minus 21 is 5. Which equals, now we have one whole. Any time you have the same numerator and denominator, this means you have a one whole. So I like to write a big one on top of there. So we have 1 and 5 over 21 when we combine that. And that's your answer for number 6. Thanks again to April for pointing out the mistake in the previous video. Um, this is now the correct answer. Hope this helps. Thank you.